Good day and welcome to my garage. This is looking good. A lot of work goes into these patterns. This is the pattern. I've got to bolt it on so I can do some legs, some supports to the frame. So this piece will go under there. That will go underneath there, on top of that will be a piece, go in like so, and then this on the side, on, will go on the side. This is one of the parts, a support leg for the, the support leg for the bandsaw table. Just getting it ready for um, the casting. This is undercoat. This is the other support leg. There's two support legs on the bandsaw table. This is the other one. Still trying to work out how I'm going to cast this because I didn't make it a split pattern. There's bits and pieces of it all, all over the place. I've still got to work that out. Oh, piece from the be uh, belt sander. I'll show you what I've done. What creation I have made. Looks pretty good. I don't see any shrinkage. No, very nice casting. Bit of flashing, but hey, I expect that. I'm starting to mould up the second bracket there's a radius slightly radius edge just making sure there's nothing over the top when I go to draw this out later Well, the rough casting of this bracket needs to be, uh, well, I've cleaned it up a fair bit, um, but that's got to be mounted onto the rough casting of the bandsaw itself and this face onto the uh, casting machine section of casting of the table once I cast it. So at the moment I'm just cleaning this up so it's, it's level fine adjustment now for the final part It's a beautiful. I want to get the uh, machine this face off here. It's a rough casting. That's pretty good.
I'm doing another casting of the bandsaw table. I got angry with it, cut it up, and I'll start it again and take a different approach. So um, I'll melt some metal and try it again. No leaks this time. I have been at this for quite a while. The only way I've got to bring this down to a roughly flat surface. We still have a low spot here, but those two corners are coming down. Slightly low here. That's level, or I should say flat. That's, that's pretty flat, so I shall continue on. I'm now fitting, I have to make this back leg fit flush with the table. This is the, uh, the wooden uh, pattern. Finish the rest off by hand. I have the timber pattern bolted down to that uh, first leg and this is not bolted down it's just used as a guide pin because I'm not going to put these holes in the aluminium table these are just uh, used as guide pins at the moment um, well now I want to mount I now want to mount this bracket it'll go on this contact face here. Might sort out these mounting to the cast iron before I do up there. We're just spotting the positions position for the um, uh, the the bolts the screws now I've got to turn it over and there'll be two going in there Okay, they're successfully marked. I shall drill and tap those.
Okay. Okay, the two brackets are fitted. As you can see, it's not going to interfere with anything that's in the vise up the front here. It's not as it's not that's clearing here. I had to cut the corner off. Clears there. This thing doesn't touch anything. And they stay permanently mounted. Uh, so I can use it as a uh, horizontal bandsaw, but for use as a vertical bandsaw, it's just um, three screws. I missed that one. I've got two in the back here because of the split. Okay, that's nice and solid. Um, I didn't bring anything to cut. Okay, that'll do. That's enough excitement. Anyhow, it works. One day I might do a, a sliding protractor, but uh, that's not today.